No two people prune the same way. Take these roses for example. Some gardeners lovingly prune their rose bushes with secateurs one stem at a time, whilst others simply chop the plant down almost to the ground with a pair of head shears or loppers. It's an ongoing debate. If you like to prune with secateurs, you need to find yourself a bud that's facing outwards and then you chop it down on a 45 degree angle down like this. That stops any water pooling on the cut stem and it keeps the bud dry too. There are two main types of secateurs, bypass and anvil. If you're cutting flowers, new shoots and green stems, then bypass are the best choice. Both the blade and counter blade are ground and penetrate the branch simultaneously, resulting in a clean cut that is less likely to harm the plant. For dry or deadwood, then anvil is definitely the way to go. The top blade coming directly down onto the flat anvil part exerts maximum pressure. It's a bit like an axe coming down on a chopping block. Maintenance is the key to the long lifespan of your pruning tools, so make sure you keep them sharp and well oiled. It's a really good idea to clean the blades between plants as well, because this stops the spread of disease through bacteria and spores. The best way to do that is to give them a wipe down with some bleach, an alcohol wipe or some methylated spirit, and then just rinse them off afterwards. Remember, no matter what you prune or how you prune it, pruning actually makes your plants momentarily vulnerable. So it's a good idea when you're finished to water, mulch and feed. Head to Gardena.com to learn more.